Hello there. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Yes, so I've been talking about reviewing uh, a very good guitar and today is the day. A great day is today and today is a great day. Okay, so I'm going to um, Adaklu right now. Uh, I'm in a town called Ho. There's a, um, another town uh, called Adaklu. Okay, so um, Mr. Jake, um, a very, very good friend of mine has you know his kids coming over they come for lessons he's actually from canada but he, he lives here now and um you know we got talking they traveled to mexico they had to pass through canada and i was like can you please get me a guitar and he said yes so i am really really happy right now because the guitar is in okay so uh, i wanted to get this yamaha because i needed an acoustic electric that uh, could fight feedback uh but uh, it, it was a bit too pricey and uh since i also needed a bluegrass guitar because i'm playing that style too uh, quite often these days um i went with that uh so um i'm just gonna take you to a duck blue right now i'm gonna enter a taxi and then uh take you to a duck blue the other town um he's actually living under a mountain so <laughs> you're gonna see that shortly and then um, we're gonna do the unboxing and all that. And then when I come back here, we're gonna listen to the guitar in context. Okay, so I'm talking about the Alvarez um, Master Watch series. It's from the uh, Master Watch series, if I got the term right. Um, it's MD60BGE. <laughs> okay, I'm having a hard time here remembering the name, but um, it's in the bluegrass model. It's a dreadnought um, with a, a, a spruce stop and mahogany back inside. So uh, let's go grab it, uh, come back and uh, hear the guitar. Okay, um, I'm recording right now with my iPhone XR. Um, and um, I think anything from the iPhone 12 Pro app um, would give you a very good representation of the sound. I don't have the microphones, uh, but you can look in the description. I have a link where you can check for yourself um the iphone 12 was recorded was uh, compared to an actual studio mic and uh, the comparison was like incredibly close in some ways it even sounded better with the iphone okay giving you a very good sound you can hear the highs the lows everything you want to hear. most of you actually record with your phones anyway so um getting a microphone is, is pretty hard here in ghana a good um microphone for guitars so this is the best i got and um i think it's gonna do a good job so Enough talking already, let's jump into the taxi and go to Adakuru. Okay, so just before we take off, I want to say a very big thank you to Mr. Jake's brother. Uh, these are pictures of him receiving the guitar um, in Canada, uh, Music City uh, to be precise. Um, and since uh, it was going to be shipped uh, with some other items uh, to avoid uh, breakage of items experienced in the past, uh, here, uh, here is a, a cage, a wooden cage he did, uh, which I'm really, really grateful for so uh kudos all right so let's jump into the taxi and get out of here let's go So I'm here and I'm really, really excited. I think I'm walking too slow.
All right, so let's go. Oh, that's quick. Job protecting it, I think. Yeah. This is this is a whole cool workout for you, man. <laughs> Okay. Wow, it was Why not? You need to protect this thing. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm recording you driving That's me home, so if you're fine. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so interview coming on soon, hopefully, yeah. with Mr. Jacob from um, the, the, the name of... Canada, Mexico. <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the, the, the church, uh, the name of the church. My father's house church. My father's house church. Okay, yes. okay. So uh, I'll be having him. Um, on on my channel soon talking about his ministry and uh, he's the one that got me the alvarez bluegrass so you guys expect more bluegrass music mm. okay get back to you good soon guitar, yes. <laughs> and a good player <laughs> thank you thank you okay so i'm back to my studio and in your shot is the alvarez uh hard bag uh it's not really a hard showcase uh, neither is it a kick bag so it's but it's pretty sturdy and it's gonna protect your guitar pretty well. Okay, so that's a wonderful, beautiful addition from Alvarez. All right, so let's see what we got inside it. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. you know, that's what I'm talking about, man. So let's begin from the headstock and work our way down. You can see it's got a very beautiful headstock, uh, finished in gloss, so it's Alvarez. Okay, so, um, yes, yeah, so it's got a bone nut. And um, yes, I think it's uh, an inch and three quarter. Uh, some might prefer an inch and 11 sixteenth, but this is cool for me. Um, the fretboard, um, I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's rosewood, okay? Although it's a bit dark, so it looks like um, ebony. Okay, it's got that inlay, um, other 12th fret, beautiful inlay. And the, the grains on this guitar, it's it's really beautiful. It's got a herringbone trim with ivory binding. Yeah, so um, let's go back down. Okay, and uh, it's got a very interesting uh, bridge. Because <laughs> there's um, it's not just for looks, uh, but there is um, some mechanics uh, behind this. Uh, so the steeper angle that the bridge provides um, gives some downward pressure um to the strings uh, so that causes the top to vibrate better that's a clever um invention by alvarez so uh the the uh saddle is bone and the bridge pins are ebony so um all the good stuff here okay so there you have the back very beautiful uh, open gear tuners which keep the guitar in tune pretty well uh, it's got the alvarez inscription there um the neck is mahogany and so is the back and sides beautiful green mahogany there yeah okay so i look at the model name again through the sound hole uh, for those of you keeping tabs um i hope you can see this if the camera will focus all right we got it so it's a md60 ebg um i'm not sure what the md stands for uh but the 60 means the back and size is mahogany the e means it's got a pickup the bg is bluegrass okay so and indeed it has a pickup i hope you can see that um an lr bag pickup okay really cool okay so it's got this tag here um yeah that says uh, lr bags for acoustic yes okay so like i said it's from the master work series 
All right, let's hear this guitar in action. Yes, iPhones have good microphones, uh, but they work very differently from studio mics. So I'm going to be moving um, different distances and also play during the day and also during the night because I get different sounds. Here we go.
I did um, do uh, an earlier video uh, with one of uh, Mr. Jake's daughters. Uh, she actually plays the violin. Her name is Rachel. And uh, since uh, this is a bluegrass guitar, I thought I'd give you guys an idea uh, what this sounds like outdoors. Okay, uh, doing that where I live is almost impossible. I'm just by the roadside, so you just hear cars honking and lots of noise. So uh, let's take a look at that now and then uh, come back for my final thoughts on the guitar. I wonder to win less like there would sin. I wouldn't let my savior ring. Then Jesus came like a stream during the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. You won't darkness no more now. So I need a sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light go. So I don't think I need to say much uh, on my final thoughts. Uh, if you are a bluegrass player uh, wanting to get a, a workhorse guitar on a budget, I mean, you can't go wrong with this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so um, other options could be like the Eastmans, uh, the Eastman E20 and the E10. Uh, these are also great guitars. Uh, but I think there's a video of um, someone comparing the two guitars and um, this came out on top. I mean, <laughs> the low end on this thing is... is is thunderous and also the mates and the highs the trebles are also fat as you heard so um those are my final thoughts it's it's a great guitar for the money really really i mean uh i think there's a video of uh jp Comier actually comparing this to his 15 year old martin and um he preferred this <laughs> so i mean it's it has all the good stuff bone nuts bone saddle it's got a spruce top. It's got a mahogany back and sides. Um, you can't have everything in one guitar. Some people might prefer uh, an inch and 11 16th nuts. This is one and three quarter. And it's it's a bit roomy, but it's uh, it's it's good for my, my way of playing. Okay, so you might want to try the guitar out before you draw any conclusions. Um, yeah, so um, not much to say, it's, except that it's, it's I couldn't find any um, any cons really um one con if i if i need to add any anything negative in this video um um the um, the uh, end of the frets are not are, are not like really sharp like some of the very cheap guitars uh, but some people might still want to um polish the ends of the frets a little bit uh for me it's okay and uh honestly i would i would prefer to let my hands worn the wear the guitar in is that the word I, I would like to let my hands wear the guitar in from uh, years of playing rather than doing it uh, like polishing the um, dressing the ends of the frets i think um well it's it, it's all our preference but i i prefer to let the guitar naturally age you know the contours the edges and everything and uh for that reason i actually prefer um um guitars aging themselves you know compared to the torrefaction that is uh prevalent in the market now not that it's a bad thing uh, but i just want the guitar to age in um age naturally okay so uh not much to say not much to say i mean not i haven't got anything negative really to say except that it's it's a great guitar so if you are and and um as you heard this is not just for bluegrass uh, if you just want a dreadnought uh, for playing and you know a loud guitar you know for playing and singing accompanying yourself vocally and of course it does bluegrass wonderfully so uh, those are my thoughts and um i've got more guitar reviews coming and uh, yes lest i forget this um here's a quick tip okay so uh something um something weird is that the word um happened um in my last review okay in my last review uh, it was a tanglewood e something um, my last video okay you can you can check it out um i was 
trying to demo the guitar and uh, <laughs> there was this lick I was trying to play that was never working. It was a fast lick. And um, no matter what I did, it, it wasn't working. So what I did was um, not deliberately, but I just decided to use a different pick. And uh, it, it worked. I mean, I started playing the lick that was all of a sudden too difficult for me to play. So I, I watched closely and noticed, um, not that the two picks I used were that different, uh, but uh, when I looked closely, I noticed um, because I'd been using the first pick quite often, it had chopped off just a little bit. It was actually hard to see uh, till I looked closely. So um, I hope this is a helpful tip. If you're trying to play a lick, if you'll be using one pick okay, for a long time, maybe it's a um, X brand pick and you really like it and you've been using it for a long time, it might wear off a little bit. And uh, that, that small fraction of uh, uh, decrease in um, the length of the pick can really affect the way you play okay so um besides really practicing to get the lick down if if it's still not going well you can just swap a pick use a different pick and see okay so um i was really surprised i didn't know this before <laughs> okay so it had chopped off just a little bit because i had been using it so much so i kept missing the strings and i, I didn't know why <laughs> okay so all right, so thanks for hanging out. And uh, if you're new, please click the subscribe button. I've got new guitar reviews coming your way. You don't want to miss them. And um, um, guitar tutorial, guys, yes, I know it's been a long time. It's been a very long time. Um, I'm putting stuff together that should be out uh, pretty soon uh, to keep my videos more consistent. Okay, thanks so much for hanging around with me and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.